are you always judging? Oh, she's a teacher. Look at her child. Oh, he's a doctor. Look at his child. Oh, parent. Oh, she's this. Oh, look at that. That's not done properly. She shouldn't have done that. Oh, why would she do that? You didn't even hear the full story. Do you find yourself in a judging situation? Are you always judging people? If you want to know how to perceive before judging, to understand why things are done in a certain way by other people, keep watching this video. Hello Warriors, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheo Obisheson. And today I'll be talking about how to perceive before judging. We all know that judging someone is to express our bad opinion about such people. Why? Because we think we are better than them. And to perceive is to have understanding, having the opportunity, having the ability to make use of our senses. Your eyes, your ears, your nose, you know, touching and stuff. It is very important to know the whole story before judging a situation or judging other people. For example, if you are a doctor, sometimes you might be the best in your field and you might not be able to save your own child. You see people who are great mathematicians, but they have a child that's struggling with math. You see somebody that's so efficient, very gifted in the area of marriage. They fix other people's marriages, but they have problems in their whole homes. I remember a few years ago, um, I was working with my you know, previous employer. And there was this lady, she was shopping around and she forgot to put a strap on a baby and she put her in the stroller. And then only God know what happened or what caught, you know, babies. She fell flat on her forehead. And this lady was holding the baby so tight to her, walking around. And the husband said, oh, don't worry, she's a doctor, she know what to do. This woman literally don't know what to do. She was walking around in circles. At that moment, she's a mother and not a doctor. Until one of the managers went up to her to say, oh, let's just give the baby, let me see. Oh, it looks so bad, the baby's forehead. What am I trying to say? A great teacher might be able to teach other students. She might have a child that is struggling. A nutritionist might say to you, oh, eat this in the morning, eat this in the afternoon, just to keep in shape and make sure your, your nutrition is, you know, it's well balanced. The child might be having a deep fried burger with Coke as breakfast. At that point in time, she's a mother and not a nutritionist. She can be both, but let us perceive situation before we judge it. It's very important. You never really understand somebody until you are able to see from their own point of view. Let's say you're a youth, maybe you're in school and you judge other people because of an item they wear because they're not wearing Nike or Adidas and you judge them simply because you believe they should be wearing a particular designer. You never know what they are going through. You don't need to judge people. Try to be in those people's position. You will see people who cook like perfectly 
and they might even be struggling to to eat you see people take lovely pictures of other people but they might not even be able to take a nice picture of themselves or they don't even like taking pictures at the point that you are working in your field maybe working in your purpose is different to when you are in your primary assignment which is as a mother I might come here to say, oh, if you're a youth, you need to do this. Oh, if you're a youth, you need to do that. I'm telling you, I have a two-year-old. I don't touch her to wake her up in the morning. I say, hello, good morning. We are going now. Bye. She got up. And I have a 16-year-old that will be like, you didn't just start going to school today. You know you're supposed to go to school. Are you going to get up? until they get up. Sometimes it's a struggle to get them out of bed. What am I trying to say? When you come across people working in that field, don't judge their personal life. Don't judge people. Somebody might be able to fix your marriage for you. You talk to her, talk to him, they'll be like, okay, you do it this way, you, you make sure everything is fine. And they'll be like, wow, wonderful. And the moment you hear they are having a problem in their marriage, be like, mm, look at that. Some things happen to us because we are alive, because we are still alive. We go through some things because we are living life. Also, we go through some things because of what we have said, what our thoughts are towards other people. What people call karma. We experience situations because of our reaction, our contributions to other people's trials. Might not even be in our own journey of life. And most importantly, based on our purpose, based on where God has placed us, we experience some things. So as to connect with it on a personal level. So why judge people? If you find yourself in a situation that you're always judging, majority of us we judge, but we can work on it. Maybe you're walking on that path or you think you're beginning to judge people. You need to work on it. You need to fix it. You might be traveling by air and somebody sitting next to you might be afraid of flying. Just a simple touch might calm them down. If you start saying, oh, why did why, why do you come in an aeroplane where you know you're afraid of flying? No. A simple everything is going to be all right is what some people need. Not people judging them. How to perceive before judging. Number one, education. Educate yourself about places, about people, about culture, about so many things. Why do certain people behave in a certain way? Why do these places look in a certain way? Educate yourself. Number two, observation. Paying close attention to situations in order to gather information. Remember the story of Jesus when he was feeding the people with the word. And he observed, they must be hungry. So the miracle of the five loaves and two fish came about at that gathering. Because he observed, they must be hungry. Number three, empathy. Learn to put yourself in people's shoes to understand where they are coming from. To kind of be able to know why they behave in a certain way. To know what happens in a mother's brain after birth. 
to know why people are able to perform so well in their duties officially. But when it comes to the primary assignment, the struggle is real for everybody. Empathy. Number four, listen. Oftentimes we listen to respond rather than listen to understand. Listen to people in order to give your ears and not your mouth so that you can hear them attentively. Listening is a very important gift and it, it shows your calmness when you are interacting with people. Number five, be humble. Freedom from pride is humility. Be humble. When you judge people, that's a sense of pride. It means you are arrogant because you're thinking, oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't do that. I can't do that. You're judging them based on their lives, their choices, the way they do things. And most times we generalize. So these are five points to perceive before judging. If you have any other points, you can put it down in the comment section. You know, to encourage somebody to correct ourselves. We learn every day. No man is an island. If you're still watching up to this moment, I believe you've gained value from this video. So give it a like. So I'll be able to reach more people. And if you want to join the warrior community, don't be shy. We don't bite. Click on the subscription button. And click on the bell notification bell. So you'll be notified when I post new videos. So we can all learn together. So I'll see you again in my next video. Bye warriors.